He is where you are. My name is David Rokasi, and um, we are going to get into what has been the talk of town. Yesterday, I was out in the field, so I sort of missed this headline. But as soon as I got to my phone, I saw all tweets, everyone having their say. And uh, still today, the 15th day of August, people are still talking about this. It's the talk of town. Like it or not, this affects you in one way or another. So government this week tabled uh, to parliament amendments to the law governing the National Social Security Fund, seeking to, among other things, tax members' retirement benefits. This has created a storm and led to a heated debates among workers and various stakeholders with many questions unanswered. This morning, we seek answers from the NSSF Deputy Managing Director, Mr. Patrick Ayota, a workers' representative from the National Organization of Trade Unions, Mr. Asher Wilson Oweri. Uh, plus, this conversation would not be complete without a tax expert in Mr. Albert Mbaine, who will uh, help us or tell us whether or not this is a double taxation. But first, let's put this is, uh, discussion into context by playing back a story um, about the same that we ran in our news last night. Hours after the youth that minister Florence Natwala Chinji tabled the National Social Security Fund Amendment Bill 2019 before Parliament, there has been extended public criticism. The National Social Security Fund Amendment Bill 2019. I beg to leave. It's only exempting now, according to the National Social Security Fund Managing Director, Richard Berugaba, the criticism is misguided. Uh, what the bill will be able to do is to incentivize members and also the companies, the employers, by getting tax exemptions at the time of contributions and the NSSF having tax uh, exemptions at the time of investment, it means that the member will get a higher benefit at the time of withdrawal. The NSSF boss says the bill seeks to exempt the workers' contribution from taxation and instead tax members' retirement benefits. The first benefit is the age benefit. That will be uh, taxed if it is taken at the age of 55. However, if the member waits until they are age 60, it will be exempted. The next benefit we have is the uh, uh, withdrawal benefit. That benefit is for members who are 55, 50 years and are no longer in active employment for at least one year. Derugaba says the exemption will be in case of death or invalidity. Taxation shall be at the prevailing rate at time. The government will get more money in taxes, the member will get a bigger benefit and uh, there won't be any losers. The bill also presents an opportunity to the former and informal sectors to make voluntary contributions to the NSSF. Francis Kamlegea, a tax expert, and Wilson Owere, the chairman general of the National Organization of Trade Unions, have welcomed the amendment. This is the best act we are going to have because it's going to accommodate everybody, it's going to make sure our money is safe, it's going to make sure whatever we want in the bill, whether to reduce the years, whether to do what, this is the time when we should focus on that. If you ask me, when would I rather pay tax? Today? or 30 years from now. I would say 30 years from now. If you tell me, when would I rather get a tax benefit from government? Is it today or 30 years from now? I would say today. However, the amendment has attracted misreactions from lawmakers. They should sympathize with the person who has worked for this country diligently, who retires at uh, over 50 years and is already tired yeah, many times that's when the disease is set in. Because first of all, it will, it will affect the, the sector. It will discourage people from saving. The government has lost the legitimacy. People don't, even those that would pay taxes now don't want to pay. And now they are running to tax whatever amount of money they find consolidated somewhere. The bill will go through a fast. <clears throat> wow. Um, very, very interesting story there. Thank that you. is a story that we ran uh, last evening on um, uh, our news bulletins. Uh, well, with me today is, um, I'll start on my left here, Mr. Albert Baine, a tax expert. You're going to help us very much this morning because uh, we are a bit confused. Is there any sort of, we'll, we'll get into those <laughs> answers. Uh, right next to him is uh, Mr. Asha Wilson, National Organization of uh, Trade Unions. Thank you very much for joining us. 
this morning. And uh, the main, uh, who is going to be our main focus this morning, because we want answers, we as uh, workers. Mr. Patrick Ayota, Deputy Managing Director, uh, National Social Security Fund. Good morning, Mr. Ayota. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. First of all, we as workers, uh, we are... We, we, we are I, I, I don't want to say we are not happy, but we are confused a little bit sometimes. And many times the reason why many things are not understood or not taken in and we are blamed, the Ugandans, you're very negative, you don't take time to understand anything. But we don't understand these things. Okay. So we are worried, one. Mm -hmm. We are confused, two. And uh, as you know these days, yeah. our money earnings are very, very low. Mm -hmm. And now we have been trying to uh, get a hold of that NSSF tax that is taken every single month, mm -hmm. that kakat that is taken away. Yeah. Now we are hearing that even in the future, there is going to be a, a tax taken off our benefits. Okay. We are confused, Mr. Ayota. Okay, thank you very much for having me. Let me give a bit of a background. Today, in the current tax regime, this is what's happening. By the time you contribute to NSSF, that money has been taxed. When NSF invests, that money is taxed. Then when the benefits are paid, those benefits are not taxed. That's today's regime. It's like akin to a farmer going to plant seeds. We tax the seeds. When he replants, which is investing, we tax the seeds. Then when he harvests, when it's bigger, we don't tax it. That's the current regime today. What this law is trying to do is to change that to make best practice. And the law is very, very clear. Whatever you have put in NSF as of today, or as when this law becomes a bill, it says there will be no taxation applied to it. So whatever you have today that has already been taxed will not be taxed again. It doesn't matter whether you get it today or you get it 30 years from now. Whatever has been taxed before the law becomes into play will not be taxed. Then we go back to what the law is trying to do from a tax perspective, and it's very, very clear. One, it's saying do not tax the, do not tax the seeds. When somebody contributes the NSF when the law becomes, when the bill becomes a law, don't tax it. When NSF invests and puts money on a member's account, don't tax it. Wait until it grows. And then you tax it like Mr. Kamala like say 30 years from there. At that point, the pot is big enough that the member gets more money, the government gets more taxes. What we've only decided as a country is we'll defer concern, we will not eat the money now, let's all save and we'll get tax at the end. That's the only thing the way the law has done. So it's a it's a win-win for both the government and a win-win for the member because you'll have a higher amount you get compared to what you'll get under the current tax regime. But you see, that's where we are, we are getting confused, we as, uh, as you guys and some workers. Mm -hmm. you, you see, when you say it's a win-win, yes. government clearly is going to get more tax. But where, 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 is, the, where, where is the win for okay. me? We, we, ran, we model and ran some numbers, and let me just give you an example. We said, if somebody is earning a million shillings today, uh -huh. let's start. Okay. Uh -huh. NSF, you'll pay 50,000 shillings, which is 5%. Okay. The employer will pay. 10%. Mm. Let's just assume that each year NSF will give you 10% because we've been giving interest rates that are quite, quite generous. Under the current tax law, you'd end up with 300 million shillings at the end of 30 years. If you began working 325 years, you'll have 300 million shillings in your kitty. If the law changed and went to this new law, you will have 344 million shillings in your account. With a new law, mm -hmm. so you'll have you'll have a you'll have a bigger pie to take home than the government, even after taxation. Under the current law, the government would get would tax you six or seven million shillings. Would, would get six or seven, six or seven million shillings from you as a member. When the new law changes, the government will get a hundred and forty-six million shillings. You get the difference? Yes. Because the pot is bigger. The law of compounding says that if I invest each additional shilling it will result into a bigger pie. So we all win. <coughs> ah. Yes. Mr. Asher, you seem to be in agreement with uh, Mr. Ayota here. You, uh, when we were running that clip, you say this is a very, very, very good bill. Uh, yeah. For very many <coughs> workers, they were saying, huh, now that one, <laughs> or Yari Day. <laughs> And he's trying to convince us, the Ugandans. Now, this is an, another opportunity to convince us after Mr. Yota has given us the details and a breakdown of 
where it is a win-win situation for both. Why do you think this is a good bill? No, I'm uh, talking at the perspective of the whole bill. Okay. You know, we are only focusing on the taxation. Yes. But uh, this bill entirely, what was the rationale of bringing this amendment? Because as far as we opposed the liberalization, which was far, far, far bad for the workers, and he had nothing to offer. So we argued and said no. Instead of liberalizing, let's have what we call amending the act. Because the act, this act gives us security for our money. The liberalization was not given. They were actually going to destroy this law, the, the whole law. But now we are amending it. Where uh, Yota is saying, we, we have to scrutinize that. Because first of all, when you are telling me that you are going to have uh, taxation at the end, and it is still going to affect my saving, that one we may not agree. But it's a matter of debate and understanding. Because for me now, what is very important and very key is the whole bill. What have we proposed in the bill? Because we are now focusing on the, on the tax area. We are not focusing in the whole bill. And you know, in the, this amendment was also opposed by other people. They never wanted amendment, they wanted the, the real bill on liberalization. So now, what IOTA and his team must do, first of all, to create awareness so that we understand really what they are talking about. Mm. Because we may, you, you could see now the headline of New Vision yesterday it was so alarming in a way that they were like everything they are just going to tax. Mm -hmm. eh? And according to his explanation, you can see that there's some, some bit of, they are saying not now, but in the future. Now, what I don't agree with them is that, you, you know, this money before it's taken there. It's taxed, mm -hmm. and uh, you cannot tell me that uh, there is no double taxation. No, there is none. Because you you must now justify that by mm -hmm. proving it, and maybe we'll get some education from it, them. In, in, in uh, the Daily Monitor today, um, there's an article the same uh, topic that we're talking about today. Yes. Uh, this is what you say, Mr. Ogre. You say that um, while you agree with some of the proposals, you disagree on the issue of tax savers' money mm. at retirement. Yes. Um, he says that um, the years of retirement should be reduced to 50. Exactly. That's his first mm -hmm. proposal. Mm -hmm. And then he says, as workers, we will come out with our proposal. NSSF has kept this money for more than 30 years and invested with it. Government can't take taxes on the investment, but the savers' money should come and tax. Mm -hmm. They are tying people to retire at 60 years so that you get money at 60, but we want the years to reduce to 50. Mm -hmm. So let's start with... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to get to you mm -hmm. and, and because he, he, and I want to find out if there's any case of uh, any double taxation and what your thought is. But mm -hmm. let's first get this out of the way. If that's his proposal, yes. 50, first of all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but he says, yeah, and he makes a, a valid point. Mm -hmm. You have had my money for 30 years. Yes. If you give me that money to invest it, mm -hmm. I'll be making a lot of money. I've nah. been making a lot of money in those 30 years. But you have had my money. Uh -huh. You have made investments. Okay. Uh, you have made profits uh -huh. from that money. Uh -huh. You haven't shared your, your profits okay. with me. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you are taking a, you're taking a percentage of my money as well. Okay. Two things that are kind of misleading about that. And Mr. Weri, I think I was very clear. Yes. Under the current regime, where conditions have been already been taxed, income has already been taxed, and we have your money in NSSF, there is no application, no more taxation that will be applied on that money. So there's no double taxation. We, mechanically, what, what we'll do is, Mr. Were, we'll have two accounts for you, at least two. One with the old, under the old regime, then the day the law passes, we'll open a new account for you, and that's how we track it. So there will not be any taxation. So no, no double taxation, just don't worry about that one. Secondly, and this way is very interesting with us as Ugandans, remember we took 5% of your money, and that's what we've kept for you. Not for anybody else, we've kept it for you. 
Uh, hold on. Yes. You kept the other 95%. If you are such a good investor, mm. what have you done with your 95%? Uh. You think through it. You kept the 95%. If you are such a good investor, what have you done with it? The five percent we kept for you can actually show you that it's it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. Because each year we've actually given you part of the profit. Um <coughs> there's there's um, a young man this morning yes. um, that uh, does fit in five. He's called Paul. Mm -hmm. And I woke up this morning, found him seated on these stairs here. Yes. And um, he was contemplating on his earnings. Yes. And he said, Man, uh, you earn your two hundred thousand Uganda shillings. Mm -hmm. They're already taking away some money mm -hmm. pairs you earn yes and then they tax that pairs you earn as well mm -hmm. and then now there is a uh, nssf mm -hmm. now they want to even tax that nssf at the end of that day okay man i am how, how much am i taking home so the question for the workers here is mm -hmm. i am earning little today exactly yeah exactly you you already chopping my money i am that 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 95 percent that you're saying yeah. is really small for me yeah why are you putting more taxes no, on but, me? but after that i'm going to get into yeah. the cases of double but, taxation. But, but what you have to think through is right now when you earn 200 thousand shillings before you send any money to nssf yes you are a taxes the entire 200 thousand you pay pay you on the, the entire 200 thousand shillings yes what this law is trying to say is, uh -uh, before you are apply an amount, take the one you're giving to NSSF. So now, instead of being taxed at two hundred thousand, yes, take the five percent. First foot of the five percent, exactly. And then you're and then you then you tax at one ninety. Ah, uh -huh. So that so you, so you will ring first so that your conditions are not taxed. Okay. Then we invest it okay. over time when you come for it. That's when the tax will apply. Now there's even a switch now. Yes. But if you wait, if you uh, if you come at fifty-five, yeah, the tax will apply. But if you just wait for another five years, five years, and, and you will get your money tax-free, tax-free. Yeah. So uh, it's the saving that actually apply. <laughs> That's what the law is saying. Uh, well, Mr. Wood, it seems to we'll disagree on uh, the, the, the the sixty years, but we're going to get okay. into that. But um, now let's uh, uh, let's find out. There is a question of double taxation, Mr. Albert. Uh, is, 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 what, first of all, what's your thought on the whole bill? Thank, thank you, David. Um, first of all, like, like uh, Patrick has said, there is actually no double taxation. Oh, really? And uh, by and large, this is a good bill. And like you've said, it's just because people have not been sensitized to understand the actual implications of the bill. Um, first of all, it's extremely important to know compare the current tax regime mm. what does the person get the member because at the end of the day what the member wants to know is how much am i getting mm. the, the, why there is a lot of confusion in this is because the member is thinking am i going to get less mm. at the end of the day exactly now if you run the numbers the first uh, the, the first issue where the member will actually earn instantly when the law is passed that first month is that his net take home will increase instantly the net take home on a monthly basis mm -hmm. will increase because what will happen like uh, Patrick let, said let, let, let's compare some figures yes. let's, because you know we understand figures a lot more yes uh, let's put a million Ugandan shillings yes. on the table here yes. with the current state how much do I take home after okay, let, let me, and let, after okay, let me explain that vice versa. Let, let me explain that yes if you are earning one million, like yes. Patrick said, under the current law, the payers you earn that goes to your RA is applied on the one million. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, which is 30% of, of, of one, million. The one, of one million. million. Yes. So, your net take home is one million less than 30%. Yes. Now, if this law is passed, your net take home, the 30% will be applied. On the on the one million less the five percent. Ah, uh, okay. okay. On the one million less the five percent. So the the five percent will have to be taken off first. Taken off, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and the, then the thirty percent is applied. So what the members need to understand is that instantly from month one after the law has been passed, the member will actually have a net take home that is more. Okay. Okay. If that is more mm. than, than what they are getting now. Mm. Now, what the other members need to know is what then happens at the end. Because what people are looking at is that after all these years, 
they are looking at 30 percent of probably 300 million or 400 million and they are thinking oh god this is going to be a lot of tax but when you run the numbers and now you have reached 55 and you decide you want to get your money because under the the, the proposed law nssf will have enough money to invest we assume that even the interest that they will be paying will be more than the current interest so even if after 30 years they are to tax your entire amount at 30 percent the net take home that you would be getting at the end of whatever whether whether 30 years or not will still be more but let me also talk about the ring fencing this law will not apply retrospectively if for example you are 50 years now and after five years now you are 55 you want to get your money this law will only apply on the five years ah. the money you have accumulated up to when you are 50 will not be subjected to the new provision the new law okay okay so meaning that the money you have accumulated up to when you are 50 will not be subjected to this law it will apply on the old law so you will get your money it's only now the five years from when this law takes place assuming now you reach 55 and you want to get your money this law will only apply on the five okay and now what we are saying is if you want to push up to 60 it means that when you reach 55 you can actually access your money and and correct me if i'm wrong you can actually access your money of the amount you accumulated up to when you reach 50. Okay. and you will get the entire amount mm -hmm. because this law does not apply retrospectively okay now that means if you only wait and for another up. five years mm -hmm. yeah. then this law will still not apply because when you get your money at 60 it will not be taxed mm -hmm. so wow. meaning that for anyone who hits 60 mm -hmm. the entire amount will not be taxed the amount that was being faced mm -hmm. that has accumulated up to the new law will not be taxed mm -hmm. and you just add another five years mm -hmm. so you can actually get your money at 55 and you you can make a decision that let me get the money at 55 but get the money that i accumulated before the new law mm -hmm. because that will not be taxed so mm -hmm. you get that and you say for the money that is going to be subjected to the new law let me just give it another five years it will also not be taxed so it's extremely important that people understand the tax issues on this law so that they have uh, an informed decision mm -hmm. If, okay. uh, just a minute if people want to raise other issues mm -hmm. that feel that they feel have not been addressed mm -hmm. those could be there and those exactly. can be discussed exactly. but on the issue of tax there is no double taxation at all okay thank you so there is no double taxation yes. thank you very much mr albert Mbaine. that's a very very good clarification now now that, yeah. that, that the, the case of double taxation is, okay. is okay. You, you you seem to agree with um uh, with mr no no no, no, no mm -hmm. when it comes to the 60 versus uh, the, the, the 50 yeah. years you, you you seem to agree with him on that yeah they, they, that's why i'm saying if members feel that there are certain issues that have not been oh, raised okay. those should be raised for example most members if you if you do a research people are talking of uh mid 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 mid, mid, uh, mid term mid access, access. Mm -hmm. that why should i wait up 55 or up yeah. 60. Mm -hmm. even before this new law was proposed people already had issues of why can't why should i be borrowing there should money be a, pro from a provision the yeah. yeah now there's a provision for mid-term access that is within the proposed law but it only it will only apply to voluntary contributions ah, and and still uh, that one mesh, uh, still that one says that um, um it will be based on, on on the regulations that will be put up yeah because so, I, I i met someone who was saying well why should i go to a bank uh, where they're going to ask me for 13 percent interest rate when i'm i have my savings with NSF? why doesn't NSF open up um, a, a, a section or a, a way that i can uh, get a loan from my savings exactly. with NSF? That's, yeah. those are all just uh, proposals. So, so david that's why we are saying if there are other issues that already would want to bring they should raise those it. issues should, can be raised but the issue of taxation is clear okay but yes we as members we feel i'm a member of NSS, we feel that there are certain issues uh -huh. that That's have true. not been addressed okay that we feel should be addressed 
okay. and not only focusing on tax because there is no double taxation and the member will actually be getting more money okay. if people run numbers it's okay. easy to run the numbers yeah. and and i would want to encourage nssf to run these numbers yeah and say if you are earning 1 million, if you are earning 2 million, so if you are earning 10 million. Can understand understand these yeah. Yeah. People yeah. do not understand words. Mm -hmm. okay. Let people okay. run numbers okay. and, and throw we'll them everywhere. I Thank think you. I'm going to join you, uh, but um, for the viewer that is watching us and you're wondering um, what are we mumbling about? Well, it's the talk of town and um, it concerns you, it uh, affects you, it might affect you today or in the long run. Uh, we're talking about uh, a story that is on the front pages of the Daily Monitor today, and instead of trying to explain uh, or explaining what the new bill means to workers. Uh, that is a proposed bill um, that mm, tax experts say is good for the NSSF members. Uh, but um, Mr. I, I, I'm going to, I, I don't want to call it blame, but um, I'm going to ask you why you why you you have such uh, I'll call it a good bill like this mm -hmm. um, you bring it on the floor of Parliament mm -hmm. and um, suddenly it's on the front pages of the daily monitor yes just like this yes and now there's an uproar uh, there's uh, everyone is up in arms but simply because mm -hmm. they don't understand what is going on yet as NSSF mm -hmm. you have space you have time mm -hmm. you have uh, you have NTV here mm -hmm. where you can come okay and before all this headline is on the front page of the Daily Monitor. Mm -hmm. We have had enough time to explain to the people okay. what the proposed bill is all about. Mm -hmm. We can throw the figures around. We okay. can throw numbers around that they understand okay. so that we don't have that this kind of chaos every single time there is okay. a proposed bill mm -hmm. or a proposal to anything. Mm -hmm. You find even the my border border man is talking about this. Okay. And there's a chance that he's not even paying. He's not a member of NSSF. <laughs> but he's talking about but, it. But and you know, coming on board. Yes, but you see, you, 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 you you have people mm. uh, that are on radios, on uh, the mm. TV stations that don't even understand the bill, okay, yeah. but mm. are passing on the information mm. to the border border, mainly to the people in the market, okay. to them. And suddenly you have very many angry people mm -hmm. on something that they don't understand. Thank you. And I think we take responsibility for who could have done better. I'll take that. Okay. However, I want to say, I think we're also a country of headlines. Ah. If there was a headline, nobody bothered to open the paper. And even within the new vision, when you open and read one of the contents, so you say, oh, but we stopped at the headline and walked away. Now, editors write headline to invite you to buy the paper and read it. Okay. With us, we read the headline and think, I have news. So we mm. walk away. Mm. Now, maybe we need to improve as a country <laughs> to actually read what's the, the, what is the headline so that we can actually know what's happening. Yeah. And, but we take responsibility for that. But yeah. I think the, what you're saying and what Mr. Were is saying and so on, even outside the taxation, the benefits of the bill are in mass. Let me tell you something. Right now, the law does not allow you, as a country of NSF, to top up. And it may want to save more. It does not allow Mr. Weary to say, listen, I've got my house girl. I want to voluntarily mm. help her save. Or my son to voluntarily save. It closed those doors. Those are opening up. Okay. The thing you talk about benefits, uh, benefits here, midterm benefits. The law is now going to give the fund the power to create new benefits. New, by the way, it is even on the mandatory side. The other thing with the mandatory side, you have to have a statutory instrument from the okay. minister. So mm -hmm. the provisions are there. So the law is actually incredibly good, Mr. Yota. Yes. Uh, the Ugandans are watching this morning. Yes. And. Uh, they have some feedback. Yes. In case you're watching and you haven't uh, uh, brought some feedback, please don't be angry. Uh, let's try and understand. <laughs> um, uh, take it in. So breathe in, breathe out, and give us your view, your side of the story. We have some feedback, yes, and we want to share it with okay. you. Okay. And um, hopefully, we can get some proposals from uh, the workers as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, you can let us know whether that is possible or not. Okay. So, well, let's get into some social media feedback when we. Um, get back just right after a short commercial break. We get into that feedback and then we um, get the panel here to respond on that feedback. NTV presents another experience.